Okay, so uh, this one uh, is going to be about animation states, and it's going to be, I'm going to try to do it in one of these, you know, quick tutorial ways. Um, we have a bunch of different ways we can do animations, and uh, we're going to do that in Unity here. Um, I'm going to just drag this thing in. I, I have a couple um, images already into this project, and one of them is just this, they all come from Glitch the Game, where everything else comes from that I do. Um, but this one down here is just something, some platform for us to stay on. And then I have two fox animations. This one is orange fox walk and orange fox pause. And so what we want to do is we want to have uh, this pause animation playing um, when the fox is just standing there, and we want to have the walk animation um, play when the fox is walking. Um, and so first thing we got to do is we've got to uh, cut the stuff up. So um, I'm going to select our um, our pause animation. And then head over here, and we're going to make sure we're going to set this to multiple. We'll go to Sprite Editor, apply that, and we'll slice it, let it do automatic, and we will apply it. Um, and automatic isn't the ideal way to do this one, but you know what? It's close enough. And then we'll do the same thing for um, our walk animation. We'll change it to multiple, we'll go to Sprite Editor, we'll apply it, and we'll slice it, automatic, and slice apply it and there we go and so after we've sliced them now we have all these different frames I'm just clicking on this little arrow here all the different frames of, of the animation okay so this is our pause animation um, I'm just going to drag it into our scene here's our pause and it's gonna say you know what do you want to call this animation it recognizes it's a sprite sheet we'll just call it pause How about Fox pause there we go and there we go and we've got some nice little things here Here's our fox it's there. Um, I'm going to change the order and layer of our little fox because right now it's the same as our background. I'll just make it a 10. That way it's always sticking out. And for my main camera, I'm going to get rid of this ugly blue color. Uh, I don't know. I'll make it just a little bit gray. And if we run, we should see our fox animating. There he is. So if we watch him, he's blinking and moving his head. Um, hopefully you can see that that is all working correctly. Um, and let's take a look at a few other things that we have. So we have, um, with our fox, we have an animation. And these are all the individual uh, frames over time. These are in seconds up here. Um, and then I'm going to close this asset store tab. Um, we have an animator, which is our states. And so um, our fox pause is really the only state that we have in this one, and it's orange because it is the default um, layer, default state. Um, all right, so we do have this walk um, animation, and we're going to add that to our list of animations for this fox. So if I go back to animation, and up here is our list of clips. We have one for fox pause. We want to make a new one for fox walk. So I'll create a new clip, and this will be fox walk that and now we have our fox walk if we go back to fox pause we have all of our frames for our pause if we go to walk there's nothing there and so we want to just add our frame so I'm going to expand our, our walking animation and then click on the first one hold down shift select them all and I'll just drag it up here into our animation window and it's going to think about it for a second or more and now we have a walk animation, all right? And if we go look at our animator, now we have this fox walk. This is another state we can get to. This is our default, which is pause. This is our walk, another state that we can go to. I'm going to right click on that and say set as um, default. And then now if we play, we'll see our little guy walking, all right? And if we go back and set this as default and hit play, now he's idle. So essentially what we need to do is we need to somehow be able to transition from walk, uh, from pause to walk and from walk to pause based on whether or not we're moving. Um, so we'll do that here in a sec. I'm going to do some quick coding, though. Um, and again, we've done um, character controllers a whole bunch of times. This is going to be a really, really basic one. So I'll create a C-script script. We'll call it player controller. And we will attach that to our fox. There we go. Let me open that up. 
And we can make our speed public float speed equals 0 0.1f. And in our update loop, we'll just say, since he's facing left, um, we'll just say if the left arrow is pressed, we'll, you know, we'll move. So if input dot get key down, uh, how about just get key, key code dot left arrow. So remember, get key means is it pressed, get key down is the single frame when it first goes down, and get key up is when it's released. So if the left arrow is being held down, we will say vector2 position equals transform dot position, position dot x minus equals speed, oops, and then transform dot position equals position. So this will just move us over to the left. And let's see what happens. We run it. I hit the left arrow, and we go to the left. But it's still playing the idle animation. It would be nice if it would actually play the walk animation. And we don't quite have that set up yet. So if we look in our animator, we can create um, some conditions when we transition from pause to walk. So if I right click on pause and say make transition, I can drag and drop an arrow down here to fox walk. And then we'll make another transition going back. Um, each of these transitions has a list of conditions. Um, and we want to uh, go from pause to walk, that's the uh, direction this arrow is going, when we are walking. So over here, I can change our parameters. Right now, there are no parameters for this animator, but I can add one. It'll be a bool, and we'll call it walking. All right, so we will transition from pause to walk when and I'll click over here, uh, walking is true. And then we'll go on the way back, we'll say, uh, so now I've clicked on the arrow that's pointing from walk to pause, and we will go in there when walking is false, we will transition back this way, that's the idea. Um, and that's really the extent of it. Um, but um, this little Boolean flag walking, we haven't really controlled that in any of our scripts. So if I go back to our player controller, um, that's part of our animator, so I can say something like, um, and I'll put an else in here. So here we are. We have the key down, so we want to be playing our walking animation. So I can say, get component animator dot set bool walking. Oops, true. All right. That's how we're going to set bool, and this is the variable that we defined. Um, up here walking. So make sure your case sensitivity and all that kind of business is right. All right, and if we're not walking, we will set it to false. Right. And remember, we can get kind of crazy with this. We can move in all different directions and all that sort of stuff. But this is just showing you the absolute basics of um, using the animation here. Uh, let's go back to our scene. I'm going to move my little fox guy way over here so we can actually see him move. And let's see if what happens. So I'm going to hit left. And eventually, well, let's slow him down. Make his speed 0 0.05. So it, it looks like it's not working, and, it, and there's a reason for that. Um, but I just want to show you that it kind of works. All right, so I'm holding down this key. Now he's walking. All right, so we actually did transition um, from one state to the next. It just took a really long time. Let's do it again. So here he's sliding. I'm holding down, holding down, holding down. And then he starts walking, and there we go. All right, so the reason, if you look at this thing here, we have our animation of our walk animation is like a quarter of a second for one cycle. Um, if we look at our pause, the whole um, cycle is about four seconds. So that's why it's waiting four seconds before it switches. It waits till this one has finished, and then it's transitioning to the walk animation. And if you want that, that's fine. There's reasons when that's good, and, um, but there's also reasons when that, that's bad. And in this case, where we have these simple animations, we want it to switch right away. And so um, I'm clicking on the arrow that transitions from pause to walk. And um, we have this thing here called has exit time. And I'm going to uncheck that box, because what that means is don't wait for that animation to finish. And we'll do the same thing when we're going back. Uncheck that box. And so now, if I hit play, we're idle, we're walking, we're idle walking, idle. And now it looks like it's actually working. All right, And you can go in here to um, your animator, and you can link up as many animation states as you need. Keep bringing them in, 
Um, keep creating more more clips um, from your animation tab, and then go to your animator tab, and you can have as many of these different clips all over the place, different transitions between all of them, um, and you can get really, really complicated. So, and you have as many variables as you want, just go through and set them all um, in the code. So remember, this, this code is, is relatively um, simple, really isn't much to it. Um, we do our normal get key business, and then just for moving around, and then this stuff here is uh, setting flags in the animator. So we get the animator component, we set the bool that we've defined, and we set the value. And that's it. So that's a really, really basic thing on animation states. But like I said, once you understand how this stuff works, you can start going to town making really, really great um, animation transitions.